said, ballistics testing has so far revealed that the Sword 22's firepower is on par with the Arasaka Akaashi. That means the Sword 22 also has a similar recoil. So if you haven't got a full titanium endoskeletal implant and carbon fiber muscle wheat, don't even try to handle this son of a bitch. Whoever made this clearly had just two things on their mind. Mass production and war. That means it's got to be solid and reliable. Comfort and portability are not on the checklist. I've been in just about every kind of weather condition with the SOAR 22. Torrential rain, sandstorms, heat waves, you name it. And it's never jammed on me, not even once. <laughs> and you can tell the SOAR 22's creators were dead serious in this thing. Because the instructions are as captivating as a, a washing machine manual. This thing is no nonsense. The obvious downside to this Goliath is, well, its size. Soldiers have already nicknamed it the Elephant. Couldn't have come up with a better name myself. So if you want to know what it's like to hold a real lead cannon in your hands, there's only one true contender. The Sword 22 is available in all firearm stores. And remember, stay loaded.